Welcome to smashingbloke.com. Here is Smashing Bloke. We're in love with cryptocurrency and all of that good stuff. So what's going on today? 13th of November, 2018. Marcus is still almost stagnant. Um, still reddish green, not a lot of movement. Things have been pretty sideways recently, haven't they? I mean, volatility seems to have ceased in the crypto space, which is rather odd. But hey, that's where we are. Today, Smart and Blog wants to talk to you about Moak. Moak is a multi-layer blockchain for commercial applications. But before I do that, let's take a quick look at the market and see exactly where we are at this point in time. Okay. 13th of November, 2018, time check, 12.04 p.m. Market cap, currently standing at $212 billion, a 24-hour trade volume of $13 billion. Bitcoin is currently trading at $6,368, with a market dominance of 52.2%. Best performer in the last 24 hours has been Ethereum, which is up 11.33%. And currently trading at one cents. Okay, let's talk about Moak. So why Moak? Well, Moak believe that existing blockchain platforms out there have steep learning curves, are complex, and have high usage fees. They believe that slow transaction speeds, fixed consensus models, and stuff like that limits developers. They also believe that mining is currently centralized and therefore doesn't encourage new miners to come into the space. They also believe that it is challenging that blockchains are currently unable to communicate, which has led to a segregated space, segregated user base, segregated tech base. So how Moak? Well, the Moak platform uses an architecture that lowers development cost by reducing the complexity of building decentralized applications on the Moak platform. The architecture also allows an increase of scalability and transaction speeds that are 100 times faster than the Ethereum platform. Moak's architecture consists of a mother chain, micro chains, sharding and cross-chain capabilities. Motherchain is the public blockchain layer that handles data storage and also processing for smart contracts and decentralized applications dApps. This layer also processes balance transfers, consensus and data access. The Moak platform assigns a microchain for each smart contract to increase scalability and efficiency. Microchains separate processing tasks from business logic. Microchains enable the use of various consensus protocols so developers are able to pick the one that best fits the use case of the project on which they are working. The Moak platform uses sharding to horizontally partition data across multiple nodes and blockchains. Developers are able to specify the numbers of shards for each smart contract. Sharding enables the Moak platform to scale effectively whilst also increasing the transactions per second by extending the amount of nodes on the network. Moak's cross-chain functionality enables the platform to interact with other blockchains. The platform uses atomic swap based cross chains for the swapping of data between blockchains. When it comes to mining, Moak has two types of mining, microchain mining and mother chain mining. Microchain mining is where a node verifies transactions for smart contracts or consensus. These nodes are paid for processing smart contracts and verifying transactions. Mother chain mining is similar to Ethereum mining as both use the proof of work consensus protocol. So who's working on this, who's working on this, let's take a look. Well, as you can see, very interesting team, but the smashing block always says 
do some research of your own, make sure you're comfortable with the proposition, you're comfortable with the team before you jump in with your hard earned fiat into any coin. So when we see all this good stuff, let's take a look. Well, we know December 2018, we have a newer release which includes P2P sharding. We also know that they are expecting to have 100 plus dApps released in early 2019. So the smash and look thing about Moak, well, I think the first thing I should say is I love the innovation in the space. I love the fact that we have all these gifted teams working on different blockchains, trying to overcome some of the challenges that, that we currently face in this space. Challenges like a TPS, like scaling and stuff like that. To be specific about Moak, I love the use of microchains for each smart contract. I love the fact that they have cross-chain capabilities. I love the fact that they're using sharding as an approach for scaling. I think uh, Moak is a very interesting coin, but Smashing Block will have to see a bit more before he jumps in with his hard-earned fiat. Smashing Block out. If you like what Smashing Block does, please give us some likes and subscribe. Smashing Block. Peace.